What is up YouTube? We're here today I'm going to show you guys how to actually patch the CPU in Windows 95 using VIX95 CPU. Now, the CPU patch is basically uh, going to allow systems to run anywhere newer than like a Pentium or something like that, but it has to be less than 2.1 gigahertz or for AMD about 350 megahertz so this is kind of like a different type of tutorial so without further ado let's get this started so as of right now I have VTX AMD V enabled as you can see it's active so Windows 95 is working however if you do want to patch the CPU to support up to at least 2.1 gigahertz then what you can do is uh, you just insert the fix 95 CPU ISO and then uh, I'll show you how it's supposed to work you just click on I'm just gonna restart the system I'm just going to restart the system uh, just to be sure. And then, uh, now this is where uh, you get that. Now, after you get that protection error, if you have anything over 2.1 gigahertz on the Intel processors, or 350 megahertz on the AMD processors just go ahead and insert the fix 95 CPU and then this should uh, come up now the first thing you need is the installation tutorial on how to, on, on how, on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox the updated tutorial and uh, the ISO uh, in case uh, if you're running a newer version of VirtualBox, so what we're gonna do is after you boot into this screen right here, just click, just hit any key. I'm just gonna hit enter, and what we're gonna do is, is I'm going to uh, hit N, and then you're gonna hit any key to continue to patch the CPU. Uh, well it's the high speed processor support just hit any key and then it's going to copy files and now uh, go ahead and uh, eject the uh, ISO and because you're done with it then hit any key if it does like that just go ahead and reset And then it's going to start Windows 95 as normal, and then you can continue to set up from here on out. Just going to boot into Windows 95. Just going to hit enter, because I already installed it. Now some CPUs might not do that, but... Intel processors uh, over 2.1 gigahertz or anything that has AM VTX AMD V uh, you might have a problem during the second phase of setup so after that you just patch it and then you can continue on to set up but already but mine for whatever reason didn't do that so yeah there you go so that's how to patch the CPU in Windows 95 using Fix95 CPU. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and also follow me on Twitter at RubenOfFiducia17. Also follow me on Instagram at RubenOfTransitFans. So I'll see you next time.